Hello, this is Eduardo from Merced Community College Student Help Desk. And I'm going to teach you how to log on to your Microsoft email account. Microsoft email account. I thought you were going to teach us how to log on to my student email account at Merced College. Precisely. It turns out that the Merced College email that we give you, it's a Microsoft Office email account. Why? Because we're in partnership with Microsoft. So having said that, the likelihood that you may already have a Microsoft account is very high. Why? Because Microsoft is a very large corporation. And the probability that you already have a Microsoft email account is very high. Now, why am I saying that? You may ask. Well, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to share my screen now. And I want you to see something very important. So when I go to Office, so first thing, we need to go to Office to sign into your email account. So www.office.com. Goodness, I'm already signed in and I never signed in with my Microsoft email account. Hmm. Why is that so? Well, because this is a Microsoft email account, but that does not necessarily mean that this is your college email account. Hmm. And how do I find out if this is my Merced college email account? Well, you go to the upper right-hand side corner and you click there. Now, does this email account look like a Microsoft account? Yes, it does. Does this account look like a Merced College account? No, it doesn't. Why? Because this one says Gmail. Huh. And what's the difference between a Merced College email account and uh, another account? Well, the difference is very simple. The Microsoft email, the Merced College email account ends in at campus.mccd dot edu for example in this in the case of this fictitious student his email account would be john dot smith three three four three at campus dot mccd dot edu so this part is the username that you would be using for merced college portal merced college portal and what is that oh. merced college portal is the icon on the upper right-hand side corner of the Merced College website where we ask you to put a username. That's the username for your Merced College portal, which is different for, from your Merced College email. How is it different? Because it has at campus.mccd.edu. Now, in my case, because I work for the college, and instead of putting my first name, a period, and my last name, I put my last names, a period, and the first initial of my name. That would be my Merced College email account. Now, I want to sign into this account, but I'm already signed into this other account. So how can I do that? Well, it's obvious. Given that you cannot be signed in to the same website with two different usernames, you need to sign out of this account in order to be able to sign in with a different account. Because it's impossible to be signed in with two different personalities on the same website. So let's do that. So I'm going to click on this on the upper right hand side corner on that circle, which has my photo, I'm going to sign up. Okay. And I'm signing out. It says, is idea a good idea to close all browser windows? But it already did it for me. And now it knows my name, but 
why does it know my name if I have never ever logged in with my Microsoft uh, Merced College email account? Because it remembers this other account. So you cannot click sign in because if you click sign in here, you're going to go back to the other account that you have. Because remember what we said, it, it's Microsoft. So the probability that you may already have a Microsoft account it's very large because Microsoft is a very large corporation. So what do we need to do? We need to switch to a different account. Oh, so do I click here? Yes, you click there. And now let's put the other email address, which is your campus.mccd account. So I'm gonna click there. And then it's going to, it may ask me if it's a work account, or a personal account, hmm. because I have two accounts. So which one should I use? Well, the one that says was created by your IT department, not the one you create. No, no, we need to sign in to the one that Merced College created for you. Because remember, as a student, you don't create your email account for the college. We created for you. So we're going to choose work or school account. And then we're going to put the same password that we typed at the portal. Now, some of you may say, yeah, but I don't remember my password. My computer remembers that for me. Hmm. What to do? Well, there's different options. One option, if you don't remember your password, is to go to the menu on the right-hand side click on passwords and figure out what the password is. Now, in this case, I don't have passwords stored on this browser, but you may have passwords stored on this browser. Now, another option, if you don't remember your password, is to go to the portal and click on, I forgot my password, reset my password. Why? Because the same password that you use for the portal is the same password that you're going to use for your Merced College Microsoft account. But given that I do know my password, I don't need to recover it. I don't need to change it. Why? Because I wrote it down. It's very important to write down your passwords. Otherwise, well, it's going to be very lengthy and hard to be able to log in and you don't want to waste time resetting your password every time you want to log in. That's why it's a good idea to write that down on a piece of paper. So let's go back to the login. I'm going to type my password, which I wrote down. And hopefully I will not make a mistake because given that I'm a human, the likelihood that I make a mistake it's very high. Sign in. Huh. It says, would you like to save the password on this browser? Well, I don't like to save passwords on the browser, so I'm not going to do it on this browser. But you may want to do that. That's perfectly optional, whatever you want to do. Okay. So I'm here. Is that my email? No, no, no. This is your Office 365 page. And where is my email? Well, your email is in one of these icons. Hmm. So there's a Word icon, an Excel icon, a PowerPoint icon, and an Outlook icon. And this one looks like an envelope. Would that be my email? Yes, that is your email. But before we click on the email, let me show you something very interesting. Microsoft Office. We give you as a student, meanwhile, you are a student, five copies of Microsoft Office that you can install. And you may say, I, why do I want to install Office if it's already here? Well, because this is the online version of Office, which is the light version, like similar to a soda. Uh, there's two variations on a soda. There's the diet soda that doesn't have all the calories. And there's the other soda that has all the calories. So the same thing happens here. When you install and download the full version, you do not need to be connected to the internet and you have all the different features that the program offers, something that does not happen 
if you only use the online version. So you may want to do this. And remember, if you decide to install Office and they ask you to activate it, what is the activation code? Well, the activation code is your Merced College email, which is the one that ends up campus.mccd.edu. And you will have the opportunity to put that after you download and install the software. When you open an application, it will ask you to sign in. And signing in with your Merced College account, your Merced College office account, will activate that software for you. So let's go back to where we were. How do I access my email? Well, you access your email on this icon on the left-hand side, the one that says Outlook. Let's click on it and see what happens. And there it is. My email is opening. And there it is. I have access my Merced College email account. So it's very easy if you pay attention, okay? Well, that's all for now. This is Eduardo from uh, uh, Merced Community College, a student help desk. And don't forget to call, don't forget to email me if you have difficulties. I will be very happy to help you. That's all for now. My phone number is 381-6514, area code 209. Bye-bye. <laughs>